hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so um i want to address a few comments that i have seen on a video that i made about yule Dochi. you know after he lost his son okay if you don't know who he is he's a nigerian actor and uh, he was married for 17 years long story short he was dating uh, an actress and the next thing the story came out that they were having enough they were having an affair the next thing they had the the lady was pregnant they had a child together and he came out and said this is now my second wife but the first wife refused to accept accept polygamy she said she's a christian and is against her christian faith to be a part of polygamy so unfortunately they they recently lost their son their oldest his son oldest son in his uh, marriage with his uh, first wife and uh, and since then you know Yule has completely pulled away from social media, at least for now, right? He completely gone away from social media and um, people are surprised to see this massive difference because when the whole drama was happening, he was really catching crews with it. I think I can say, I, can th I think I can use the word catching crews with it. And uh, he became, he was proudly, publicly was showing that he's proud of his um, sudden uh, popularity, if I can use that word. And um, he was always like, basically, like I call it, he was trolling his trolls, always addressing and it came across like using the whole saga or the drama to, you know, uh, blow, if that makes sense. You know, Nigeria always say blow is like make it. He began to run adverts and say, who wants to run, who wants to run advert here? He's like, we broke the internet because he won, after he made that post, I think he got was this 60,000 comments and whatever he's like i've been on social media for such a long time this has never happened before and he publicly he didn't you know pretend about it he publicly you know cut, like i always would catch crews with this and try to make something out of it and always like laughing about the whole thing and you know didn't care and always uh, you know so but uh you know the unfortunate thing then that happened that he lost his son people that people then saw a different side of him do you know the last post before the son's life ended was a post where he was where he was saying you know i'm the most handsome man in nigeria da, 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 da. he always make posts like that to kind of like you know hit at, at his haters but since the son his son lost his life he's completely out of social media he has not made a single post even on his instagram he deleted all his posts and uh, deleted so many things and there was a comment somebody left and said the person said so it took him losing his son for him to wake up. So people say, oh, now, because initially they said he deleted, I didn't follow the story properly at that time. But initially they said he removed the Judy and the child and pictures of her from his Instagram. And later on came back and just removed everything altogether. And people are like, oh, now he, you know, it took, his, it took him losing his first son for him to realize what people have been saying. People have been saying for the longest time that Judy is not a good uh, thing for his life. If Judy, the relationship with Judy or marrying Judy is not good for his life. It's not good for his reputation. He, she's not going to bring him good luck. You know, our typical Nigerian ways of giving advice on the social media. And they were like telling him that she's a bad influence. She's this and that. So they feel like from this, some of the comments is like it took him losing his first son for the juju. That's what they claim that the second wife has ju juju on him. You know, I say it took that for the juju to clear from his eyes, or it took that for him to finally be matured about the whole thing because of how he used to, you know, make joking, you know, because of how he used to joke about the whole thing and made fun about the whole thing and everything. Let me say this: I personally, from day one, I, I I was not a fan of the way he did some stuff because I feel like okay, if you choose you want to marry a second wife or, or whatever, or second wife or whatever, there are ways to do it. You don't come out and it shouldn't be okay. We, you see, let me tell you. If you don't put it on social media people will not know and if you made one post about it and never make another post it will be the end of it but the way he was you know continuing and begin to let me use the word rub it in people's faces and using that story to trend i felt like personally i felt like it was immature i have my other you know opinion about the whole thing where i said he has not been able to prove that he's able to carry two women at the same time he was never able to be in the same picture uh, with both women and even have his whole family who have his whole family, the new woman and the child and the first woman and the child in the same picture. I've made videos in which I said our forefathers that were the real Odogus, you know, Odogu, you know, a strong man, you know what I mean? We're able to do that. He's not been able to do that. I have all of that. But uh, coming back to what I'm saying, the truth is 
sometimes, sometimes in life, it takes some things happening in life sometimes to humble us. Let's be honest. There are some things that will happen in your life. It will just humble you. What I mean by humble you is it will make you sit back and actually reevaluate and think deep about some things. Do you know what I mean? So th there are some things that will hit you in life that would snap you out of some things. I'm, I, you know, I don't know if he has really broken up with the second wife. He has not come out to say it. But what I'm saying is that those that are saying, oh, it took him losing his son to dump her. People believe, people believe it's over. There are rumors that it's over between him and that second wife. Uh, him and that second wife. Some people say there's a DNA that has proved that he's not the father of that second wife's child. I have not seen DNA and I made a video saying, my hand not there until he comes out to say it. Or there is authentic information that we can say, okay, it's true. But I'm going by, you know, some of these things. So people are not say, oh, he has dumped her now. You know, he removed her from his Instagram. He did this, he did that. He took, excuse me, why did he have to wait for it to take his son? That for him, to, excuse me, for him to wake up. And the, some people believe that if he had left Judy from the beginning, you know, he wouldn't have lost his son. If he had done the right thing from the beginning, he wouldn't have lost his son. If he didn't even end up marrying Judy, he wouldn't have lost his son. So people believe that, um, what is it called now? You know about Nigerian people. You know, there's this belief that if you marry two wives, three wives, whatever, there's always that desire for people to want to eliminate the women to want to eliminate each other's children. So that uh, you know our African typical Nigerian, you know, thinking around stuff like that. There's always some people that grew up in um, polygamous homes will tell you that uh, it's a war zone. Some people, some people tell you that it was amazing, but some people tell you it was a war zone that uh, there was never peace between the wives. So. So, they, so for that reason, there are some people that believe that it is the second wife that did this to his first son, for him to lose his son. That that is why he's snapping out of it or whatever, all those beliefs. So truth be told about, oh, why did he take him this? Why did he take him this for his eyes open? Fine. Initially, it was all fun and games. He was able to say, I'm making, he was making a lot of views on, on Facebook, a lot of views on Facebook. He was, you know, his Instagram posts were going up. His views were going up. Everything was going up. And it seems as if he wanted to capitalize on the popularity or the publicity or, how do I say, you know, the, the way, um, he, the viral story of his life to use it to grow financially, you know, use it to grow financially and boost his uh, platforms and everything. And uh, but the truth is this. Let's be honest. The end of the life of someone's child is big. It is big. That's why when I see people want to laugh him for it now, no matter what, no matter you agree or disagree with his life choices or whatever, when it comes to innocent children that are not involved in the drama. Mm -mm -ba. So the loss of his child, of course it will hit anybody hard. He has not come back on social media since then. This is a guy that posts regularly. It is not surprising. Do you know what it is for someone to lose his child? Do you know what do you, you even know mentally how mentally how it would be how it would affect him? Do you know how painful it do you know what it is? You, you know, typically as parents, we play this role of being the protectors, you know, being there for our children. You know, being there for our children, making sure they are fine, making sure everything is going okay and all of that. And to, and the worst part, you see, it happened in a way that it didn't even give them a chance to even process it. You know, sometimes, God forbid, somebody's child is sick and they're in hospital and they're like, hey, will my child make it or not? Do you know what I mean? Will my child make it or not? And that panicking, whatever, kind of prepares the mind small. There's no way to prepare somebody. We don't even say it, at least. But not that the boy, they say he went to play football and he went down and that was the end of it so it's going to be massive shock to his system and him not coming back on social media that is i, I believe is his way of dealing with it do you want it to come back and start creating content it's going to be hard how do you even focus how do you even do you know to create content you have to be mentally in the right place how this is never well tiny baby this is a grown his son is almost a grown man it's a big boy. It's enough to hit anybody hard. And unfortunately, because of the way 
they went about it then. You know, I don't know what it's going to be like for him when he comes back. Believe it or not, you and I may be like, oh yeah, he comes back. We may go to his platform to see what's going on. Was you know, but there are some people that are still going to go up there and troll him and still tell him, is this Judy you went and married? See what you did to your family. See what it, there are people that are still going to continue coming for him. So I won't be surprised if he's not too much in a hurry to come back because he knows that these people are there. He knows that there will be all of these things going on, and it's not going to be encouraging for him. I'm going to be honest. I was not a fan of him. You, some of the things that happened but i sympathize i do sympathize with him honestly i do and uh, i wouldn't wish what has happened to him to any on anybody what has happened is not going to be easy for anybody to deal with i'm hoping that the public will you know people that want to troll him will think twice about you know trolling him when or if he ever decides to come back on a on a social media um, I don't know what your opinions are. Please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye.